Hello and welcome to the Needle Creations Crochet Video Workshop. We're here to show you how to do some techniques along with some tips on how to create your crochet project. In this segment we're going to work on a crochet bee and our bee's name is Bella. Everything you need is included in your kit except for a pair of scissors. You have your instructions and a bag of fiber fill, three colors of yarn, black, white, and yellow, a plastic crochet hook, plastic needle, plastic eyes, and thread for stitching on the mouth. There's a great set of instructions. The skill level is listed as intermediate. Make sure that you understand your instructions before you begin and practice the stitches being used so that you don't become overwhelmed working on your project. Your kit will come with a 3.5 millimeter hook. It may be white, it may be blue. Many of us have our favorite hook, but we recommend you use the hook that comes with this kit to maintain gauge or the tension of your fabric so you won't run out of yarn. There's five different areas to a hook. The head, the throat or the neck, the shaft, the thumb rest, and then there's the handle. You can hold it like this, or you can hold it like this. The head of the hook is smaller and pointed, so it makes it easy to go in, but your stitch should always be equal with the shaft part of your hook, and that also will help you with your gauge. You may find that there's a little bit of a rough spot on the top of the head. Lightly smooth that out. Many crochet instructions will include a gauge check before you begin. Having the correct tension, which is how tight or loose you crochet, is important to your project coming out to the correct size and will ensure that you don't run out of yarn. You'll single crochet a swatch and you'll count the number of rows and stitches across to make sure that it matches what your instructions say. Also on your instructions, you're going to see your abbreviations. Make sure you understand each one, the colors of the yarn, the various stitches. If you have to repeat any instructions, you will see an asterisk or brackets, then your other abbreviations. Each instruction sheet will have great graphics on what stitches are used for this project. If you need a refresher to practice any of them, please check our crochet stitches video. We're going to begin with our color A, which is the yellow. Make a slip knot. chain two, six single crochet in that second chain. So I, I hold the end and the tail, one, Okay, we have six. Pull that tail to close the opening. Make sure you have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to place a marker. I always like to have a couple of pieces of an alternate color cut of yarn. Makes an easy marker. We're going to place that and then we're going to increase. So we're going to do two single crochet and each stitch around. So that'll give us 12 stitches. So to do an increase, you're going to single crochet two times in each stitch. we've come around to our marker, make sure you have 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, now we're going to continue increasing six stitches for each round. So on the next one, move your marker up, single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet 
in the next. And that is your increase. Always remember your increase. If whenever you see increase in the brackets, that means two stitches in that one stitch. So they're single crochet, two single crochet. And we're going to do this six times around, which will give us 18 stitches. And you see I had a little snag here. Well, we're just going to cover that up when we make our stitch. All right, now continue in this manner. Continue increasing through round nine. And a little tip on rounds 10 through 17, these are single crochet rounds. On round 11, what you're going to do is single crochet 16, place a marker, that'll be for an eye, then single crochet 12, place another marker for the other eye, and then you're going to single crochet 26. That will complete round 11 and then complete your instructions for the head. And this is just how I have done it. Now this is just a little tip. You can place the eyes however you like. And you'll see that the eyes are like little plastic screws. And then you have the holders which are like little cups. So we'll come in here where your first marker is. Kind of keep eye on where you had that. Insert your plastic eye. Now I'm going to come over here and do the other one before I put the back on it just to make sure I'm happy with the location. And then insert this one. And this is just how I have done it. You can place the eyes however you like. You may want them closer together. I like it like this. I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do is flip this over. Take the cup, the plastic, cut parts the larger part over the screw. Sometimes they're a little hard to pop in place. There we go. That one popped in. All right. Come over to the second one. Place your cup over it. There we go. I have popped that in place. All right. Now I've also placed a marker here for myself for where we're going to stitch the, the smile. So let me thread my needle with the black yarn. All right, I'm going to come up, leave a little bit of a tail so you can tie it off in the back. All right, here's where my next one so goes in there. And then I'll come back up having four stitches between. And then back down. Just tie this off. Clip your hands. And there you have it. Your head is completed. And now we're going to make the body. The body is begun in the same manner as you did the head. You start with your chain two and work around to your increases. When we get to round 11, you're working single crochets. At the end of round 11, this is where you're going to start putting your black stripes on for your B. So we're going to take our black, and on the very last stitch of the round, you're going to pull up a loop. Then you're going to complete your single crochet with the new color that you're adding. Don't cut the yellow off because you'll need to carry that to the back because you're going to work several rows of each color making stripes. Move your marker up, keep your yellow yarn to the back, and then the tail that I've added there, I just like to work over that. So you can see here's, here's where you've added, so your first stitch is going to be right here. I work over that end, that way you get it woven in while you're crocheting. There's no increasing or decreasing on this round. So following your instructions, continue working three rounds of black, three rounds of yellow. 
The wings are also created in the same manner, beginning with a chain two, working in the round. And you're going to make two of them. Make sure you leave a long enough end for sewing on both of them. And what I like to do is stitch the two pieces together. Make sure you have your ending on the side. And the same with this piece. So we have on each end. So you're going to match stitches. And we're going to work through all thicknesses and just stitch these together, stitch by stitch, and then they'll be attached to the back of the body. And you can skip every couple stitches if you like. You just need to make sure you are picking up both sides. All right, that's enough. So you can see here what we have. Now we're going to stitch this to the body. But first, the antenna is made using the black. And sometimes black is very difficult to see the stitches. So I want to show you using a pink yarn. It's just a different color. It doesn't even come with this kit. So you can see what we're doing. You're going to chain 14. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. Count your stitches. And slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and all the way down. You'll have 13 when you get to the end. I'm going to clip off a little bit for an end, pull that through, and there's your antenna. And yours will be black. Now we have to stuff our body and our head. Your fiber fill comes in a very condensed package. So what I like to do is pull it out and fluff it up makes it so much easier to work with. And take a piece and stuff your body. I use my thumbs. You can use a pencil. You can use uh, a wooden dowel. Um, even some of the chopsticks have a flat end that work. And you shape it as you're stuffing. And you have plenty of fiber fill, so stuff, uh, stuff your body and your head to make sure they're nice and firm. Now we'll put the, uh, place the antenna on last. And you want to make sure you have enough on um, both openings so when you're sewing the head onto the body that it's going to be firm for you. All right, so we have our pieces. And now we're going to stitch them together. And when you're cutting yarn tails on either piece, I try to make sure I leave at least 10 inches. So I like to keep where your joinings are. So to the back, this is on the body. Position your head. And you're going to work around stitch by stitch.
the other one and just make a few more stitches to make sure we're secure and our ends are woven in. Take this, you can run it through. Same thing with the other one. Fasten off. All right, now we have our head attached to the body. Next, we're going to attach the wings. So you have a couple of pieces here. Thread one of your ends. Position those. Make sure it's kind of centered. And you can see there's a little point on the end of the body, so that's a good way if you want to try to use that as your center. All right, now I'm going to pick up a few of these stitches to close this. And then I'm going to go all the way through, picking up stitches on the body, back down. again. And now we're going to take our second piece and do the same thing. You just want to make sure that this is attached. up through the middle here and then back down and right up to the very top and I'm going to take the two pieces and tie them just to secure it and I'll weave those through and clip them off we have our wings. Now we're going to sew on the antennas. I have placed those between rows four and five, or rounds four and five from the top. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to and try to center them equally. And again, this is your own judgment on that. I take those two ends, take the first one, run through and then run the second end through, tie a knot, take both ends, I run those through to the back and I'll clip that and we're going to do the second one and now we have the antenna you can take these and curl these around a pencil they will curl for you and there is Bella B and if you have any questions you can contact us via email help at askacrafter.com I love to crochet.